Present colors. Place flags. And salute. Congratulations to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
all of us to be appreciative of them as well. Father, again, we're grateful for the good of the community. We ask that thou continue to always bless us, to be our brother's keeper, to look after one another, to lift each other when we are now with you, and to remember he who gave the greatest sacrifice of all, and that is our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, to live as he would have us live, to be a friend to all, to be a brother and a sister to all around us. Father, again, we dedicate this meeting now to thee, and as a special remembrance to those who gave the greatest sacrifice, to give their all, to give their lives for the great freedoms that we speak of. And we do so now in the name of Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, dads, and, uh, first, ladies and gentlemen, you can come start. Uh, we have lots of Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts and uh, lots of visitors. And at this time, though, I would like to do something that I've never done with you before. Uh, raise some hands of those that are previous veterans. Look around and see. We're always previous, previously involved in the The other day we were doing plays for first graders and uh, a couple of us go around here, we really had a good job and a lot of fun with that. And a little girl uh, over in the Lutheran school said that uh, uh, my dad is a veteran, but he's not home now. He, he came home, but then he had to leave again. And I was like, what? And he's uh, working down in the uh, flooded areas. So, you know, veterans can find themselves doing all types of stuff, even this job. And, and I'm going to be passing the time over to another uh, member of this team uh, last year for a while. But I really appreciate uh, everyone coming out today. I enjoy using the park, but it wasn't possible. And uh, lots of people enjoy the city on grass and stuff. But uh, what a gorgeous day we do have today. And uh, I trust that you uh, enjoy the program I have so far. And uh, thank you for the Lake Hills band uh, coming over to. Uh, support us for that. And of course, there's some veterans in wheelchairs and we appreciate them making it out too. Um, that's about all I have for this morning, but I hope you enjoy the program and I trust that you'll hug a veteran somewhere along the line. <laughs> Thus far, so nobly advanced. 
It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead, we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion. That we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain. That this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom, and that governments of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth.
August, the 149th year we celebrate Memorial Day. And I would like to thank the American Legion Post 67 for once again playing this year's event. My name is S.R. Germain. For the past six years, I've served the United States Air Force Reserves at the 934th Airlift Wing out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. My career in the Air Force as a flight medical technician has been nothing short of an extreme privilege. Coming this September, I'm honored to serve the wounded based at the LUB Air Base in Qatar. Memorial Day was born out of the Civil War as a way to honor the soldiers who made the ultimate sacrifice. It was officially proclaimed in May 1868 by General John Logan, National Commander of the Grand Army of the Republic. The date of Declaration Day, which is what General Logan originally titled it as, was chosen because it wasn't the anniversary of any particular battle, rather a remembrance from those who have died in service to the United States of America. It fascinates me to hear all the reasons why a person chooses to pick up and serve their country, all the while knowing that putting their lives on the line may be a possibility. What was worth the long duty days and months away from their families, or the difficult conditions and heartbreaking realities of war? I've had the opportunity in my short military career to travel and meet quite a lot of military men and women. For some, the military was a family tradition. It's what their parents did and their grandparents before them. It seemed foreign for them to choose anything else. For others, it was a quick decision made out of high school that involved very little thought. Yet for many, however, it was a prospect of a career, a noble and humble duty that allowed them to better themselves by protecting and honoring our country. Out of all the people and their reasons, the most thought-provoking answer to why they chose to serve their country was only one word, perspective. The word perspective is categorized as a noun and is described as a particular attitude towards regarding different point of view. As a husband who has been married nearly six months, I think I'm beginning to truly comprehend the significance of perspective. <laughs> and as a result of my experience, I feel it is more of a verb or an active pursuit. This country has a long, rich history. Although that history is far from perfect, it has brought us to the America we know today. This country, like any of us as we age, has developed by going through phases. The colonial age, revolutionary age, industrial age, technological age, etc. Each age evolving from the shortfalls and failures of the age before it. Through new challenges and new ideas, this world continues to be a school of advancement. Using your perspective to continue to strive for global improvements is just one duty of the men and women who serve our great nation. If you look at any page, the front page of the paper from just the past year and a half, I bet you would notice a theme, an age, if you will, of current America. Though America continues to evolve, we still pass down our tendencies. I would label America as going through its age of ignorance. America has been beaten and bruised throughout time, and what doesn't heal gets handed down. What doesn't get fixed continues to be broken. How can we breathe and grow if we are suffocated by our own ignorance? I work with a man who told me a funny story about his childhood. He told me that he and his siblings were raised not to believe in Santa Claus. It was never a statement against faith of having a mean spirit towards Christmas. His father worked two jobs that demanded overtime and weekend work, 
and more than once, his father was quoted by saying, I worked too hard for Santa to receive all the credit. <laughs> I want you to take a moment and consider the literal meaning for Memorial Day and why we're all gathered here. Use this day to remember those who have served, but more importantly, let's remember why they died. Our soldiers sacrificed too much and worked too hard for the true meaning of Memorial Day to be forgotten. Those who were buried at Arlington, Omaha National, Hampton, BAMC, and other national and local cemeteries around America are there because they fought for you and this country. Transformation is not clean cut. Our continued independence comes at a cost. A cost that has been paid. They did not only fight for an idea of independence from a powerful distant government, but a statement declaring that may they have full power to levy war, include peace, contract alliances, establish commerce, and to do all other acts and things which independent states may rightfully do. In addition to the sacrifices of men and women serving in the military, the sacrifices of their families have made equal. If not for the supporting roles of their parents, grandparents, spouses, siblings, friends, or mentors, our history books would have been written entirely different. I'm sure we have all received guidance on our path. I would have never found myself swearing before God and our flag to protect this country had I not received guidance along the way. For the unwavering support of my family, loved ones, and this country, our service men and women are very grateful. Yet we still find ourselves observing people who practice hatred. From racial profiling to violent looting, school shootings and hate crimes, America is a place where ignorance comes first. Looking beyond our own indulgences brings us another step closer to a solution. However, having perspective is the easy part. It's working through the problem that people try to avoid. And why? Maybe it's because perspective takes courage to obtain. It means being brave enough to accept the opinion of someone different. We may even need to make sacrifices to see the perspective of someone distant from us. Courage, bravery, and sacrifice. These three things not only guide our way to peace, but they, among other glowing adjectives, give the reason for why many chose to serve and why this day was made a national holiday. The foundation of America is built on shoulders of men and women who put their families, agendas, and ignorance aside. Today, I want us to feel challenged and inspired. I want us to be reminded of our reason to invest in America, because as naive as we may be towards the struggles we face, we are not the first. So before we forget that this is not just another day for away from work, that this is just not, just not another reason for a cookout, let's remember that there have been generations of people who have died doing the work of fighting injustice. Let's not just remember their death. Let's remember their fight. Our freedom as a nation has been won. And the price we paid for that has been great. This Memorial Day and every Memorial Day out there, let us honor the service of our fallen by fully accepting their gift of freedom and making a promise to them and ourselves to continue to invest in a bright America for generations to come. Thank you again, and may God bless America.
please rise for the Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> concludes our program for this morning and we'll be marching out to the cemetery for our final 
uh, you're on the way to share a course, but it's quite up to the block. Uh, I really appreciate uh, everyone coming out this morning and taking the time to uh, honor our uh, veterans. Um, I just trust that you have a good day. And hopefully we'll uh, have less uh, problems for next year, but um, we always uh, look for uh, resolution of uh, conflicts. But thank you from the Post 67 and from the High School Band, of course, we'd like to say the thanks. And the Boy Scouts and Cub Scouts that showed today to help us with our program. And there might even be a Girl Scout out there. Thank you, Will, for coming.